Hey guys, in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install shaders into your current version of Minecraft. Now why am I doing this now? Isn't Minecraft slowly dying, no one installing mods and whatnot? Well if you look, two years ago, I used to show you guys a bunch of shaders like Chopakic shaders, Kuda shaders, and some of them I did show you tutorials, but they weren't as effective, you know, I wasn't showing you all the steps, I just showed you how to install one thing, which was one set of shaders. In this video, I'm going to keep it consistent and updated whenever Minecraft updates. I'm going to update the links for you. So if you're on the newest, newest Minecraft version years from now, who knows, it's still going to be updated. Trust me. So I want to make a tutorial and I don't have a set video that says how to install, how to install shaders, but I have videos that are like how to install mods. So I'm like, why not show you how to install shaders? It's a different process, but it's actually pretty easy. So how about we get started? Shaders is a really cool mod if you had no idea what it is, and I'm pretty sure you do if you're a Minecraft fanatic, you'll see that Shaders enhances Minecraft and makes it look really, really beautiful. Like the water looks amazing, there's shaders, there's a, there's, it's like a graphics increase, it looks amazing. Now this is really blurry, but you can see that if you Google Shaders, you'll find a bunch of pictures. Now let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do is to first check if your computer is compatible with shaders. Now not every computer can handle shaders so what I want you to do is click on the first link and you'll scroll all the way down and it'll show you if your Nvidia or your AMDs or your Intel HD graphics drivers are compatible with shaders. Now you could check right here see if they are your versions. You can see that Nvidia the recommended version is 335.23 and newer so you can see that if your drivers are consistent. If you don't have any video drivers, then you might have a problem, but we will totally see after you install shaders. So see if your, com your computer can handle it. All right. And that's the first thing you want to do. Now let's go ahead and install shaders. Not every version of shaders is compatible with Forge or Optifine. Now, sadly for this case, uh, the newest version of shaders is not compatible with, with Forge or Optifine. Now some are like this version right here, 1.7.10, there is a Forge edition. So in the past there is uh, compatibility but now in the newest ones I don't believe that it is compatible with Optifine and Forge if you click download right here it's gonna give you more information you scroll down and you can see that there are some requirements you can see that it is not compatible the newest one 1.10.2 is not compatible with Optifine and Forge now Forge is used to install more mods and to make mod packs Optifine is used to help your Minecraft run smoothly and uh, normally if you combine Optifine and Forge you have a beautiful like Com combination you have beautiful graphics and you have smooth FPS but in this case you're gonna have just shaders by itself so let's go ahead and get started what you want to do is uh, go to the links and uh, you go to downloads you go to this website called shadermod.net slash downloads you click on the version you want I'm gonna do the latest version so I'm gonna click download right here on the side so once you click download on the side of the right version that you want you scroll down towards that uh, version and you'll see that there is a tab here that says download so you could click here download you can watch this tutorial if this tutorial of, that you're watching right now doesn't hurt doesn't work for you then there's a video right here so what you want to do is click here on download and then you're gonna click here the first link alright so you're gonna click on that first link link number one click save and you should be able to download uh, the shader mod right here you get the shader mod it's in a jar format and that's it so once you get that now let's go ahead and install it so you're gonna need minecraft version 1.10.2 first before installing shaders so log into your minecraft account go to edit profile and make sure that you're using release 1.10.2 or the latest version go ahead and click save press play and it should be able to download the jar so now minecraft is running and now we can go ahead and quit it you can see that it, it is at the right version that the shaders is in 1.10.2 go ahead and click quit game and double click the shader mod you double click it it says make sure that minecraft is closed press ok then you check the base version, which is 1.10.2, press OK, and that's it. It should say we have successfully installed shaders. Now, go ahead and double click the Minecraft game, and you should be able to see here on, under profiles that there is a new profile that is the shader mod. Go ahead and click play, and it should be able to launch Minecraft with shaders. Now, you don't have any shader packs installed. I have uh, made a bunch of videos. I think I showed you that already. I made a bunch of videos. You could see all these shaders, see which one you like. There's Chopakic shaders, Kuda shaders, and much more. There's Sonic Ethers, unbelievable shaders somewhere around here, lagless shaders for those who... Hey, look, supports all video cards, guys. Look at that. You could go ahead and start playing on shaders right now. It doesn't matter what graphics card you have. It supports all of them. So what you want to do is you want to go here to options and it should you should see a new menu here that says shaders click on that and you don't have any shaders 
installed. But for now, what I'm going to do is click here on open shader packs folder and it'll open up this folder. This is where you're going to be putting all your shader packs. So what you want to do is find a website where you can find a bunch of shaders. Now I went here to shader mods. I'm not sponsored by these guys, shadermods.com, but I've noticed that they do host links. So you scroll down and you could find Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders. So you scroll down. This is like the best shaders you can get. You scroll all the way down to the downloads and here's the most recommended version. You click on that. And uh, I think this website does use Adfly. So you're going to have to wait five seconds right here at the very top. Once you find a download that you want, go ahead and click skip ad and it should be able to download right here. So you say I agree and download shaders. So this is for Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders and you could go and find the most popular shaders and see there's there's plenty of shaders. You just have to come to the site right here and you just download the shaders that you want. Or you could go ahead and go to my YouTube videos and find one around here. And I have links that take you to the right downloads here too. Hopefully they are updated. So once you get the download of the shaders you want, like this one, Sonic Ethers, Unbelievable Shaders. And if you open it up, it has a shaders folder. You don't have to open this up. I'm just showing you what's inside. But uh, you just grab the download. It should be in a zip or a, a 7-zip or a WinRAR, whatever type file it is. And you just drag that over to your shader packs. And then you'll see that the game automatically updates with the shader that you dragged inside. So you just drag the download of the shaders into your shader packs folder. Once you do that, you can select the shader pack, press done, and all you have to do is go to single player and play on any world that you want, and you should be able to have the shaders mod installed. So it did not appear for me. I have to go back to shaders and I have to reselect it. Sometimes you have to reselect it if it doesn't load the first time, but you could see that it does work. Wow, look at that. You want to change some um, things when you first load in. You might want to turn off clouds in your video settings. You might want to turn off clouds. And uh, also, if you're having weird problems with uh, shadows, then you might want to go to the shaders option and change the cloud options. You could turn it off and on. So I, I recommend to turn it off. You could have old lighting too, which uh, I don't see any problem with having old lighting. So I, 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 I leave that one off. But as you can see, this is the shaders and it looks amazing. But my hand is see-through. I don't think that's something that could be fixed. Normally shaders is used to press F1 and you could just hide your body and you could just make cinematic trailers. Or you could find a shader pack that does uh, fix the hand bug that I have right here currently. So you can find a shader pack that suits you for adventures or for cinematic trailers, whatever the case may be. This is how to install shader packs and I hope you did enjoy. If you have a problem, make sure to tweet me at scmowns on Twitter. Or post a comment below and maybe I'll get back to you. No, no joke. I will get back to you, but it will be a while. But you can go ahead and tweet me. That's the easiest way for me to reach you. I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial. Thanks for watching.